Shout out to Elon B. King. Michael and Joy in the morning. MichaelandJoy.com is the website. Got an amazing show for you today. Got some repeats coming by today, allegedly. Yes, that's repeat. I was going to yes. say, right, right, right. But yeah. not really. Yeah, kind of, sort of. <laughs> not really. Hey, uh, yep, today is uh, the 8th of February. I almost said Two January. 8. Whoop, whoop. 18 uh, is the day today show brought to you by Valerie Randolph. We're gonna see Valerie Randolph a little bit later. Yay. Valerie said the uh, domestic violence awareness thingy thing is coming up Cinco de Mayo. I'm mm. thinking we can do that and then go do tequila shots after. You want to just tell everybody what we're gonna do? After? Uh, I guess we did. Nobody <laughs> listening yet. I don't right. think. Hey, today, la, 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 la. what is it, 702? Please tell me it's 702. Did I miss it? Am I, 702. 702, guys, the greatest group of all time. Y'all, that's what I'm talking about. The thoughts of Michael McFadden are only the thoughts Wait of Michael McFadden. Wait until they McFadden. like one of my posts, boy. I'm going to go crazy, boy. It's like a millennial moment. Soccer moment. Woo! Hey, you can also check us out <laughs> on social media. DC, the number two ATL. She is You Bring Me Joy. I and of am. course, you can always check us out on Earth. Thing, Michael and Joy. That's Joy with the I, by the way. And while you're at it, go on over to YouTube and click on Michael and Joy or type in Michael and Joy in the morning and subscribe and watch your old show. Hey, I bet you Sean won't play no 702 song right now. I mm -hmm. bet you he won't. I, I bet $5. Bet you he won't either. Hey, don't go nowhere. We'll be right back. It's Michael and Joy in the morning and Sensation Station Network. Wake up. Let's go. All right, so see how that rolls out. Yeah. Now, for this show, we got to keep the music down because and having some social media issues. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. Oh, <laughs> huh? oh you just gonna have to do one in a bit. All right. We're gonna take a break. When we come back from the break, I have another song. He ain't no, we'll just take it. Did you talk to Cole? Did you talk to Cole yesterday? He went and got it. Huh? He went and got it. Yeah. I had this in my ear. <laughs> yes, he went and got it. Got it. Okay. What? Thank you. <laughs> so, you know you have... Because the left is ready to talk to You know, you can buy them from 404, so I just... He was already over there, so... And Yeah, because... Um, you'll, see, you'll see what I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm Good morning. Hey, Mommy. Hey, B. Nicole. Good How good. are you? You're going to go to Something. Periscope or you're going to do Bullet Call. About Michael sisters. Hey, Michael. how are you? We're only going to do what up, OP? two. What up, So Far Gone? Clips. Shout no out to we under, w, w underscore E, then With underscore music, M so underscore E for my back. shirt. Why lie? I just want positive vibes. Shout I'll out to them. Like when they really start their first segment. And I'm just gonna go ahead and record mm -hmm. that. So Michael and Joy morning quickies. At Michael and Joy. Yeah, at Michael and Joy. <laughs> what you call starts today? What up that guy? Um the Olympics starts today. Who's excited? Michael, not not excited for the Olympics. Um, crickets in the room. Yeah, after the Everybody? after the uh, opening ceremony. You get excited after the opening ceremony. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Lord, these five, guys. You know this bar, right? So, I'm in trying to Matthew, get happy birthday, homie. When I see this, I Congratulations. Make it another year. It, but if you, you see did, this, you made. I got to figure out what's going on. But if you see this with this, put another drop behind it. So that's not going to flip. Bump, bump. So I'm going to imagine. You pick whatever you're going to pick. You made this one? Hmm? Y'all go yeah, over to, uh, what up, Jay Ortiz? Go over to uh, YouTube and subscribe to our YouTube channel, please. So we're going to hit the post. Being a little bossy. Trying to see if we can get to uh, 100 before the end of the before the end of the week. So. Um, 
They say that you have to ask for what you want. And I'm asking. Good morning. Hey, Aunt. How are you? <clears throat> Alright, come on back at the post. We'll come back, we'll tell you who's on the show today. And who's not. Michael Joy Morning, that's the Station Station Network. Lego, wake up, Lego, wake up, Lego. Mom, go over to YouTube and, and type in Michael and Joy. I hope you weren't speaking to me because I can't hear you. You can't hear anything? So this is going to take me to my... You guys can't hear me or you just can't hear me? Talk to me. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. No, the bridge is the same. Same thing. There's an episode another song. Okay. So, but now you can bring it back in the top. So you pick what you want to pick. But instrumental. And then what I'm gonna do over here is go. I got you. I'm about to say, so dang, hold so on. Because I did a whole a video one time and you guys couldn't hear me. About four and a half minutes worth of talk. Okay. Which was but super, super wet. But you have to feel them out how they're vibing because they might end up, you know, early. So what you want to do, this is your talking bed. Now they have a... This right here, they have a segue bed. You hear how that sounds. So this is when they're talking and about to wrap up right, with their talking segment. So we'll play this, and this will lead into the song. Get your hair up, guys. <coughs> so what it'll look like is this. I guess I'll do. What you working on? Hmm. Hey, 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 guy. Hmm. What you working on? I can't hear you. No, it's not about to put this picture on here and make the story better. I thought I had time to. Oh, you've been that. you do stuff to the, to Michael and Joy Facebook page? I can't see it, so I mean. Right. So that's why I'm asking. Are uh, we ready to come back? Oh, you see there's a trail on here, so I'm just going to bring it on top of that. Good to know you're doing, I'm a slacker. Good to know you're doing something social media. All right, we're back. <laughs> just joking. Michael pulls his way. Michael and Joy in the morning. Whoop, whoop. Michael and Joy .com. Good morning, Erica. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Nurse Erica. Tamika on the Facebook stream. Uh-oh, you called, guess, you was, she I called heard, her out. She, she heard well, you. I, call, I didn't call her out. I called through the lens out. You were, she was like, oh, I heard through the lens. That's us. What's she up? Hashtagging her ear like it. it it wakes her up or Just something. Just autom like automatically. Oh, hey, because Bird's here with us today. She hanging out with us today. She hanging out with us. She what can't see you yeah, from no, over no, no. there, She waved, though. She it was, waved. It's like one of them Instagram waves. Yeah. You, you push the button and it say wave, and they wave back. Hey, got awesome show today. Not talk about today. Talk about The Rock. The Rock. Shout out to Nancy Pelosi. Y'all know Nancy Pelosi? Yes, we she do. She worked up there in D.C. Mm -hmm. The Capitol. She, what is she, a senator or a congresswoman? She's somebody. Man, she had the longest speech ever. Up there on the thing. You know how you get up, uh, House Majority Leader, that's what she is, Democrat, Nancy mm -hmm. Pelosi. Wednesday, she set the record for the longest speech on record in the chamber. When she spoke about the Dreamers, she was talking about the Dreamers. That's us. The defense of young Im immigrants. That's Man, exciting. she talked for seven hours on the floor. Like, she did not stop talking. She thought, remember how, like, when, um, 
uh, on House of Cards when they did that episode um, where they just kept talking and talking and they, they, they didn't want to, like, no one to leave. They Everybody had to stay in there. Yes. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. That's what she thought was going on. Man, she, she talked for she, seven hours. She thought that, that uh, what do you call that? Don't worry about it. For the dreamers. But anyway, she I mean, didn't nobody the boo her or they didn't call the police to come get her. Like, that, none of that stuff. What? What they call the police? Yeah, they call the Capitol Hill police. Be like, come get this lady. Obviously, they wouldn't because they didn't. But shout out to Nancy Velosa, though. I was going to say, did she have some water by her? Right, that's what I was I would thinking. think, like, after 45 minutes, I'm going to get a little parched. Man, you she know, had to go to the bathroom. You know, I'll be she on that blood. She must have had it depends on. That blood pressure medicine? That blood pressure medicine had me going to the potty all the time. I'll just say. Like, I'd be right, I'm going to be right back. She did, like, that that, ast- um, that astronaut lady when she went, she drove from D.C. to Texas. She had some And then um, you just get a hologram. On. And you just have a hologram. I'm speaking for you if you talk for seven hours. Well, if that's the case, you just had a hologram from the beginning. Did she not eat? Like, I mean, I could go seven hours without eating, I'm pretty sure. But seven hours without having to go to the bathroom, she must not have ate the day before. Probably not. Hey, shout out to Harold Hartnett. He's hanging out with us. Hey, Jan. Terrius Miller. What up? For y'all that don't know. Oh, so we just shout people out. Well, hey, Ma. Hey, hey, Pop. We're doing this in the Greg Street style. What up, Jay Ortiz? I see you, man. (laughs) Literally. Hey, what up, what up? Hey, we got an awesome show for you today. We got some cool guests coming by, hanging out with us today. Love uh, we got is your in birthdays. the air. Is, is love I is love. I was going to say, well, it's va- Valentine's Day is coming up, Not so sure. we got some matchmakers. Oh, we're going to be doing some match matchmaking today? Match Verse, you got a man? Match me, match no, Mer- yes. Verse, so we got one contestant. We got two, Sean. Sean needs somebody. I was going to say, anybody else on the live feed want to go ahead and uh, what about announce you, Jerk? to themselves Can we send you that on they would like to be matched up? Can we see you on a date? Anybody else on the live feed would like to be matched up? It's just a date. <laughs> okay. Like, it ain't no big deal. Well, then, um, yeah, sure. Why I'm about, not? I'm about to say, I'm married, Joy. I can't go on a date. <laughs> don't do that. I don't know. If I'm they, about to say, yeah. If they buy a case of books, shoot, sign me up. <laughs> you want some truisms? Buy this I got box some of truisms books. in your life. <laughs> <laughs> you can get a sponsorship on Michael and Joy. <laughs> Smack the joke. Oh, we'll be Lord, right back. Have mercy. <laughs> Somebody downstairs, John. Matchmaker, matchmaker. Hey, hair art. How What's are you, CCA 1980? <clears throat> They're going to come back to talk after this. Yeah. <clears throat> so, if I want to put a. Well, it depends what you want to do. You can do a. Um, I usually put an imaging drop. Mm. Y'all can't hear the music, sorry. <laughs> but you can vibe out with me. Drive it like it's hot. Oh, does your Instagram, um, does your Facebook hit as well? Um, I don't have a Facebook anymore because of the music on the radio. Yeah. Wait, it's like it's not like a jail. They actually. No, no, I don't have it anymore. They, they, they deleted my page. They disabled my page after attempts of asking them to turn the music down or telling Michael that the music isn't necessary, but him not wanting to listen to me. But it's all good. We're not gonna feel any kind of a way about it. Just gonna. Let that go. Honestly, like, Facebook should just have some type of, like, copyright thing or whatnot so it stops bridging on everybody else's. Yeah. Well, I thought that the radio, um, because of the radio aspect, that I didn't necessarily... I put something, but I thought that the radio owned the music because essentially, you know, they send the music to the radio. I was like, how am I supposed to know, you know? Uh, So you ready to go on a date? Sure. Awesome. Huh? <laughs> Come on back, sister. Good morning. Good morning to you. I'm Michael. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. You'll be sitting Hi. right here. Hey, okay. how you doing? Good nice to meet you. Hello, Shay. You're welcome. Good morning. I ordered it online somewhere. I don't know. It was a couple years ago, actually.
You all stay in and do the show? Mm-hmm. Oh. You don't have to. We It's just our preference. Okay. Yeah, no, that's why we put it oh. there. The average guest doesn't want <laughs> they, they sit down. What up, True Black? It's no. We get it. Hey, what's up? How are you? Man, I'm to people on dates and stuff. Exactly. Send people up. It's uh -oh. fun. We, we got uh -oh. it. We got some people for you too. Oh really? Mm-hmm. Got two of them. Oh, I'm excited. They want to get set up. They looking for. They looking for love. I'm just. I don't know. Oh, you just talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We. As far as we concerned, that's that's what's that's what's going down. <laughs> You got some radio before shows? Yeah, I have a show. Okay. Oh, you so you do all the shows? You can't hear you. You do all the shows? No, not all of them. Because I was on um, <coughs> Dominique's show. Dominique's show, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah you were yeah. her producer too. Yeah. Oh, uh, Dominique, yeah. She come on at no night, right? No strings attached. No strings mm -hmm. attached, yeah. yeah. I have a show on Instinct on Thursday nights. Oh, too. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Is you. It's on matchmaking? Uh-huh, okay. it's, it's just the singles, on, just singles on my show, and we talk about relationships and dating. Oh, nice. Come on, man. Mm. Yeah. Elam, um wrote a book called Understanding the Man, and he was like, dang, I wish you, you know, he comes on Friday. Oh. But he talks about that on relationships. Yeah. So good. Yeah, good job. Uh, so we're going to bring you, you all the way to the uh, yeah. But you want to know what, what I mean, you have a show, oh. so I can okay. connect you guys could, and whatever. Yeah. So. That's true. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna push this. I'll oh, come back. Michael and Joy in what, the what? morning. Uh, MichaelandJoy.com. Also gotta say good yeah. morning to little baby Lucas. Y'all know who little Lucas is. Mm. Lucas is the new Gerber baby. Mm. Oh, not Gerber or Gerber. 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 Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Shay. Appreciate that. Thank the new sure. Gerber baby. The Gerber baby. What is, is it? it? Gerber or Gerber? It's Gerber. Gerber. The the baby food baby. Yeah. Yeah, he's the new baby food baby. He I won. thought I was like, are you thinking of gerbils? Nah, yeah, he won the contest. His uh, parents were on the news the other day, very elated. Mm hmm. Yeah, he's I the mean, first baby imagine with, uh, that. Down syndrome to be the Gerber mm -hmm. baby. And he's from right here in Georgia too. He's Shout from, uh, out to Calhoun. I think it was Calhoun or something like that. <laughs> Shout out just want to shout out my little yeah. partner, my little my little nephew. Shout out my little Gerber. No, Gerber. No, Calling call somebody my nephew once. They hit it big. Right. Shay is in the building. What up, Shay? Hey. Good morning. How you doing? I'm awesome. How are you? Your voice sounds so familiar. Do you do ratio? <laughs> I do. Yeah. I do. It's like, I don't know what Where you from, from, Shay? You're giggling. I know. It's, it's so, so funny. cute. I, I am actually a Georgia peach, born okay. and raised. Um, All right. And um. Yeah. So you say Georgia peach. What city? Um, I was born in Macon. In Macon, mm -hmm. Georgia. Okay. Uh -huh. Did you move to Atlanta? Atlanta? Did you go high school here in Atlanta? No. Oh, you went to high school down in Macon. Yeah. So let me guess, Macon High. No, I oh, went to okay. private ah! school. Oh, okay. And nobody knows me from Macon, so I don't recognize. Oh, they don't? No, because I went to private school my whole life. Oh, okay. She was down in the M town. Yeah. <laughs> Paris had you uh, she was like, sheltered. Kind of sheltered. Yeah. <laughs> she was like, no one really knows me. No. So it's almost as if. You weren't from there. Right, so we could nobody just knows make up me. a different yeah, city. Just, Where would but, you like But that? I like to stay in Georgia because that's right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Middle class matchmaker. Yeah. Middle class that is you. Matchmaker. Congratulations on your radio show, Yay. first of all. How did you become a middle class matchmaker? How did that happen for you? You know what? And it's so funny because I just saw a post I, I made eight years ago. But I, <laughs> I started researching like singles um, events and things. So I was like, oh, we need some singles events in our community. Because mm -hmm. every time I would have an event... Um, People will be trying to hook up. Oh, hook me up with that guy. Hook me up with that girl. So I started researching. Most of the events were not people like us. Uh -huh. So I wanted to create something that for people that look like me. So I started researching, going to various events, and then I created my own events. So I started off doing singles events, okay, mm -hmm. which I still do. Mm -hmm. And then I went and got certified at the Matchmaking Institute so I can learn the art of matchmaking. Okay. And then you I went to the Relationship Institute. Yeah, that there's an actual really, place. really, really awesome. <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, an actual place. Um, actually, Patty Stanger, the um, millionaire yeah. matchmaker, she was one of my professors okay. there. So it's really interesting because there's a whole art and science behind matchmaking. It's not just hooking people up. And that's yeah. not about to ask you. Let's talk about the hookup. Yeah. Everybody asks that in or several different places. Because if it's if not you, just the hookup. It, yes. If you true. go to McDonald's, they ask you, hey, you got the hookup. If you work for <laughs> Delta, they say, hey, you got a hookup at the hotel? Right. Or airport? Or but the thing with the hookup is, that is scientifically proven. It never works. It never works. It never at works. all, does it? Uh -huh. it Why? Because you hooking people up because you think they look cute together. Mm. You don't know anything about them to know if they're compatible there you go. with each other. It's just, oh, she's cute, he's cute. I'm going to introduce them. <laughs> oh, so it's more, look, I was going to say, so, oh, so it's more to it than that? It's so much more to it than that. Whoops. Now, now, I do have a, I have this thing, a clause in my life where I say I never hook my friends up because if it doesn't work, it always, it comes back to bite me. Yeah. Is that true? Is that a good a good thing to do? Um, to, or I not think, to do? I think that people can meet from their friends and from their networks. I mean, you can meet anywhere, church, grocery store. There is no place you can't meet somebody. Okay. And so if you have a good network of friends and I have a good ne network of friends, they can, we can introduce our networks to each other. But you know, just give that caveat like, hey, if it doesn't work, it's, it's not on me. And, I, and the same with me, when I make introductions, if it doesn't work, it's not on me. Y'all grown. No. Y'all grown. <laughs> exactly. It's, the same. it's just the way it works. Yeah. I, mean, uh, I would hate to have to hook one of my best friends up and the girl come back and be like, girl, boy, he will whack. And I'm that's like, the thing, because you only know of your friends what they show you. That. Right. That you don't know how they are in a relationship, how they treat their mates. We don't know that part. We just know, oh, he's cool to hang out with. But when they get in relationships, it's a whole They turn into a whole, they yes. get whooped. Middle class matchmaker on Instagram. You can check her out. We're going to talk to what Shay. What up, Cyrus? We're going to find out what she got going on. We're going to talk about her show. Let me hit follow on there. Y'all should too. Go on and follow man. her. Middle class whoop, whoop. matchmaker on Instagram. We'll be right back. Got birthdays and shout outs. It's Michael and Joy in the morning. It's the Station Network. Let go. She's also a middle class matchmaker on Facebook and the website, middle class matchmaker. Thank you. You're welcome. Y'all have so much energy. I know. Early. <laughs> it's so early, man. All this energy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know. Y'all look at it. Till till eight thirty, girl. Remember. You got us till eight thirty. <laughs> what up, Cyrus? <laughs> hey, Corey. Hey, Lily. D R L S Clark. Good morning. Good morning, Michael and Joe. Have an so awesome do, day yeah. and show. Thank you, Picture Man. Appreciate you, Cyrus. Si is Cyrus single? That's for the, um, Michael, you know Cyrus single? No, I, that's what I said. He married to Keisha. <laughs> Duh. This is like a two, three second imaging. Just real quick. Picture man, you single? I mean, picture this. Uh, I'm trying to hook somebody up. Yeah, talk to him all the time. Yeah. Oh, be it. Cyrus over here, too. So, yeah. Wait, we do it like that little thing. Did we make that? Huh? Or was it like an actual song in there? Nah, there's something that happened 23 hours ago. Um, I guess the thing that pulled it down. Is this and uh, Steelo was playing. Go live! Uh, but I had it all the way down. I'm going to force you. I'm going to do a Candace. Oh. It was like. Okay. I love Candace. <coughs> Put your phone on up here. Like, for real. I was like, hey, from Saudi Arabia. Shout out to you, girl. What you doing over there? I mean, oh, so, sorry. This. Corey, you throwing me off with the photo of a female, but then it's, it's you. What up, Jason Somerville? But I know that's a photo that you took because you're a photographer. You know, these photographers don't want to show their own face. Corey, I'm messing with you. Here, I'll do it for you. Network. Hey, good morning. It's so early. You know what show is now that you can watch? Um, um, the A Team. 
what you can go back and watch old okay. shows on now, like um, on cable. Well, you get ready for the comeback on this yeah. one. You got to make sure something's there. I've been trying to introduce my son to old stuff from like, you know, he's seven. But then he'll start watching it. He'll be like, ah, it's pixelated. Or, you know. But you know what's so weird on this radio show, Michael and Joe in the morning. And I'm so excited. You know I'm just messing with you. I'm not in the bed normally. I'm here, I'm excited. Hey, Chose. Hey, Seb, that what up, realize, realize, realize. Yeah, morning. Do, station. Do, this I, is I, Station. I, station. I, this I, is Michael. And this is Joy. Good morning. Hello, Renee. Hey, Amanda. Hey, Shayla. So we're here. I'm looking at 27. Talking about matchmaking. Matchmaker, matchmaker, make me a match. Joy has so much energy. It's like real early, and she is like on 10. Yeah, this is two years in the making. So you're used to it now. Mm. What time do you get up to get? <laughs> five, like five, 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 five thirty. Yeah, I was like, oh my god, I had to get up early. Mm -hmm. About five thirty. That's you know. But I'll be right back in the bed by ten. Three minutes before the birthday. You hear face, Ayana? Ayana said, "Tell face." I said, "Hey." Oh, that's Michael. Oh, that's Michael. Are you Faith? That's his nickname. Are you Faith? Oh, Ayana Swain's it. Oh, coming back? Oh, hey, Ayana. You know Ayana? Okay. Climate. Oh, you went to death with her? But oh, this okay. instrumental first, though. She said the whole name. Michael and Joy <laughs> in the morning. Michael and Joy dot com. What up, Ayana? What up, Ayana? Some of the same people, huh? What up, Corey? Say we know some of the same people, huh? Seems as if we do, even though we're from. Oh, uh oh, wicked, wicked! <laughs> That's not the way to do it. What the? No, what? It is not wicked, wicked. Wicked. I was gonna say, well, we can't do it no way. No, hey, you sure enough don't need to be doing it. There you go. Hey, on February second, uh, Dwayne the Rock Johnson took to Twitter to promote his summer movie that is coming out. The movie is called Skyscraper. Looks he, pretty He uh, put up a promotion flyer, Sky Chris Scraper, he shared the movie poster, which shows the 45-year-old actor hurling through the air toward an open window in a skyscraper, mm -hmm. having jumped from a nearby construction equipment that was standing out there. But Twitter users were quick to mock the image, pointing out that he could have never actually made that jump. Well, people on Twitter and social media are so petty. If you look at the poster, you can see what people started doing. Like, there is no way he would have made that jump into that building. Why well, be so like, petty? I was like, <laughs> you want to know what? It's no way he would have did it with two legs, let alone only one. Just joking. Did he have one? No, he yeah, no, 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 no. No, he has a. He doesn't have another leg. It's two legs right there. I was gonna say, yeah, but if you actually watch the commercial, oh, like me commercial. and Brenton have, at the end he's hanging from his other leg, but it's detachable. Oh, nice. He had a. Uh, shout lost, out to you. But you can check out the picture, Michael and Joy. I was gonna say, but let's just talk about how The Rock is like really, really working hard. There you and go. you know, one of the things that I, what I can appreciate about him and Kevin Hart is, regardless of what his, their bank accounts, they still go out and promote their stuff. They're really, really out here doing press tours, press runs. Which just lets us all know that we haven't made it yet, y'all. <laughs> we Shayla, still we, gotta be out here working. Since we're talking about The Rock, and we know how physically attractive The Rock is. He no is. Sandusky. He is. is physical attraction still like one of the biggest things when it comes to dating? Yes, and that's good and bad. Mm -hmm. And the reason I say that is because people who are more physically attractive do get more attention, especially in this age of online dating and social media. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't always mean that they are the best candidates. Sometimes we pass up really good candidates mm. because they're not the most physically attractive. Yeah, mm. that's so true. Yeah, well, See, about that. There you go, first. No. Stop being so petty. And swiping that dude to the left on Tinder, you better stop doing that. I was going to say just because he ain't look good. That right. was an old hair shot. <laughs> right. That's my high school picture. I thought it looked better back then. <laughs> <laughs> what about social media, though? How, how much does that play a part in in the, in the dating scene in 2018? It's huge, and that means pictures are huge, right? Mm -hmm. If you don't have good pictures, angles, yes, Corey. a professional photographer, then sometimes you miss out because mm -hmm. people are looking for the visual, looking mm -hmm. for who's most attractive. And the reason why I say that's not the most important thing because you can't build a relationship on he's attractive or mm -hmm. she's attractive. Something has to come after that. You got to be able to wake up to him the next day and the, and the next day and the next day and like him, you know? It was interesting. Me and Brenton were watching something and uh, the guy had said to this woman, you know, you're all pretty and sultry and sexy, but at some point all that stuff is going to fade away. And I, it was just like a teaching moment just to remind him that it's not always it's about true. physical 
attraction. Hey guys, I got it the helps, best though. piece of advice for you if you're looking at profile pictures. If she got the camera way up here. <laughs> Don't do that. That's not. Don't do that, Jesus. Michael. Take her home to mama. That's what you did. <laughs> hey, if you got a birthday today, a shout out mess. to you. Having problems? Setting your goals and you want to take your business or your dating to another level? Oliver Adams, a.k.a. The Coach, will help you get unstuck and get back on the road to success. Now it's time to set realistic goals and take control of your future. And you can do that today. It is very simple. If you visit the website, power2live.net, you can schedule a free phone session with our coach, the coach, Oliver Adams. Check him out today. Power, the number two, live.net. Yo, if you're celebrating a birthday today, here's some celebs that share the same birthday with you today, the 8th of February, 2018, as I grab my paper right here. Yeah, celebrating his 46th birthday today. Since we're talking about wrestlers, the big show is celebrating a birthday today. He turns 46. Yeah, uh, he's 46 years old today. Also, Golden State Warrior, uh, two time, three time NBA champion, Mr. Clay Thompson, turns 28 years old today. University of Alabama's very own Road, Road Tide. Tide. Also, Atlanta Falcon Julio Jones turns 29 uh, years old today. Uh, actor Pooch Hall is 41 years old today. If you ever watch Office, any Office fans in the building? Y'all know Creed? Mm-hmm. Remember Creed? Mm-hmm. Well, guess what? Creed is his real name. In real like life, it. his name is Creed Brat- Bratton. Creed Bratton turns 75 years old today. Come so through, happy birthday Ruby to Jackson. you, Creed. Oh, yes. Okay, also celebrating a birthday today, Georgetown Hoya, Mr. Alonzo Mourning turns 48 years old today. Nick Nolte from uh, 48, what was that first one? Nick Not Nolte. 48. What was it with him and Eddie Murphy? 48 hours? Yeah, 48, yeah, 48 hours. hours. Nick mm-hmm. Nolte is 77 years TNT old today. Right behind him is Ted Koppel. Ted Koppel turns 78 Ted years old today. And also Seth Green, uh, comedian, actor, dude, turns 44 yeah. years old today. And I got a few WB birthdays okay. today. And Shay WB birthdays are would have been birthdays. Mm-hmm. If they would have been here today, mm-hmm. Shay like, oh, would have okay. been partying with you at your speed dating event or <laughs> one of your, some kind of event. She's so you. cute. That's uh, laugh. Uh, turning 50 years old today, Gary Coleman would have been mm-hmm. 50 years old today. We lost Gary about 42 years old today. Uh, first, there was a show called Different Strokes, mm-hmm. and Gary Coleman was he was adopted by some Caucasian brothers and sisters. And him, yeah. Man, his hair it's, was always yeah. on point. And them little cheeks was just always yes. on. <laughs> but shout out to Gary Coleman. Also celebrating the birthday today, James Dean. Actor mm. James Dean would have been 87 years old today. James Dean died when he was only 24 years old. He was in a car accident back in the day. And former um, uh, uh, MMA guy, Kimbo <laughs> Slice, would have been 44 mm. years old today. He passed away two years Years ago. So happy birthday to so those soon guys. Too. Uh, happy birthday to my amazing cousin, Miss Shonda Joy Howerton. Whole, whole name. Love you, sweetie. Happy birthday. If you're celebrating a birthday, happy birthday to you from us, Michael and Joy at Sensation Station. Yay, yay. Network. Come through, we'll be Jackson with the joystick right, order. Bam. Yes, ma'am. Back and then we I got inside. everything she needs to right in the car. Go right over to FedEx. Thank you, Ruby. So, who is this? Your first day, first day, first day. Right. What the model say? I am. What, um, um, what day is your show? Your it's on the 10th. Today? Tonight. Yes. Your radio show is Oh, your radio show. Yes. But your speed dating event yes. well, like is on the 10th. Or something there, um, Uh-oh, speed date, speed date. <laughs> Where is it going to be at? It's going to be at the Dawn okay. uh, Event Center, which is on uh, Fulton Industrial Boulevard. Uh-oh, I know where that is. And I'm pulling the desk. Once I finish up, I'm going to hit that trapeze. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Okay. No, you didn't. <laughs> Where can they find the information on your website? Cover your ears. Um, Got some grown up For the speed date. It said, Will you be my mother? Uh, you was a good Hold on, hold on. Say that. Uh, Will. Uh huh. <laughs> Is this the website? Yeah. Okay. Be my valentine. Right? Eventbrite.com. Mm-hmm. So here's the, uh, 126. Will, that work, Will you be my Valentine. Eventbrite. Com, February 10th. Uh oh, Corey. 
Yes, that is much better. Thank you for putting your photo up there. I didn't pull it out, but... Hey, Mr. V, what up, Don? Look what we found. Good morning, <laughs> Chief. What up, Realize, Realize? Hey, Mary, Hey, Hey, <laughs> but it should have went from like 126 to something. I know, I know, I don't want that. 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 Well, oh, they're all crunk. They're like, I was going to really say, yep, we're on YouTube. Right, so you're also on YouTube. Is, Michael and Joy. Morning. To, uh, Michael and Joy in the morning. Hi, good morning. Michael and Joy in the morning. Okay, I so sent um, the put a, YouTube um, link and the embed code to so Candace. Like okay. You know, so that you can share it. Okay. We'll do. Good morning. Good morning, y'all. Thank you for joining us. Shay, this is uh, Valerie, Valerie, oh, Shay. Really? Yes. Uh-oh, Valerie. Yeah. Uh -oh. Oh. You match. Oh, oh, you oh, 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 Yes, come through. Yes. I was going to say, but, but let me Valerie, just let you know, single. Let me show um, you Valerie is single, and we got, like, a long list of, that we need. Mm -hmm. Like, we can't be just out here, you know. Oh, they Valerie. were asking about you, Joy. So are you single, Joy? Say, let me show y'all. Let me show y'all, Joy. I can't put her in there. That's Joy. She moving. <laughs> every time I every time I switch it around, she keep moving. <laughs> this is Joy. <laughs> she a hot mess. Hey, hey mommy. Hey, my mom. Uh, my mom said that she is not single. She okay. is currently dating the Lord. <laughs> you hear me? Dating the Lord. My mom says she oh. is currently dating the well, Lord. Well, y'all can be with the Lord together. <laughs> together. Hey, Martin. Yeah. Hey, I met Cheek. Realize, realize. Oh, <laughs> you talking okay. to Tasha? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So maybe it'll be free by... Uh, bouncing by around, band. bouncing around. If not, she's going to have to go uh, by her phone. Are you on we'll um, your page or your business page? This is my page. Your, your page, mm -hmm. your personal Because I have more followers on my, on my page yeah. and my business page. You know how that goes. Match I will say this. <clears throat> um, probably start to, Michael and Joy, start to put stuff on your business one too. And then if you possibly can, like save it and start your YouTube page. I do have a YouTube page. Yeah, page. so maybe okay. save some of the video so or whatever, put it on there. Once you get a thousand followers and, um, and uh, how many? A thousand followers and ten thousand views. Ten thousand views. And you can start monetizing. Oh, you said. Oh, that's how I look at the door. But see, we've been doing radio for over two years, and then unfortunately we were doing it on Facebook and not on YouTube. So though we've reached our two-year anniversary, we still don't have the numbers. And I'm not on Facebook anymore because they disabled my page. So all of my videos that were on my personal page is gone and I can't get back. But if I would have done it on my business page, it would have still been okay. Cool. That's good to know. Thank you for the info. So just you know, little tidbit. Use my fail for your gain. Oh Lord, Derek. Yeah. Hey MST five four six three. Nope, can't do Derek. Sorry, tried that twice, Derek. I, I'm not even going to read what you said. <laughs> Try that twice. <laughs> the regular way, A, D with an A. I, that, no, no Derek's. We, there, she said she don't do Derek's. We, we good no on Derek's. Derek's. We no tried that. You spell it. We she tried don't. that when I was younger. We tried that as an adult. There's you know, and work. that's what singles do. I'm going to tell you. Singles <laughs> will date somebody dark skin and be like, I don't date dark skin men because I dated one dark skin man and oh, he nah, cheated nah, on me. Nah, nah. I don't date nah, men I with locks because I dated one man with locks and he beat me. I don't date... <laughs> No, people do that. They, they no, 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 no. I totally, I, I totally know some females that will just content, will just, I like, 
I'm I'm only dating others. <laughs> right, you know because yes. I'm like, well, look, white men cheat too. Everybody so, cheats. Yeah, I mean, yeah, so you can't you can't just lump them all in. High. I'm just messing. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm just joking. Only because I've actually literally dated two Derricks. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like that to me is the <laughs> sign. It's just the fact that it's the same exact name. That's the only reason. Yeah. But you know, so how old is Derek? Derek's like mid thirties. Mm. Aren't you mid thirties, Derek? We how many kids? Old, like, he don't have any children. He's never been married. No, you see, no, now no, you got no, now you got to support me, Derek. I was gonna say I'm never mind. You. I need at least one kid, so I ain't gotta be forced to have one. Huh? You don't want anymore? I'm just joking. Oh, I have, I have men who have children. I'm just joking. I'm only joking. We got them all. She said like her about Derek's on that one. Right, 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 right. I tried. I, like I, I dated a D-E-R-R-I-C-K, then I dated a D-E-R-R-I-C. They just didn't know. This is D-E-R-E-K. Oh, Lord. It's a different Derek. I was like, wait. She's a Delta. Shay. Valerie, who? I was going to say Valerie is a AKA. Good morning. Yes, ma'am. Hey, Laura. Okay. All right. Well, I think I'm going to be laid down. Yay. Oh, I see you with your red and white. Yeah, this is for Valentine's, Valentine's Day, Day, my Valentine's nails. It just so happens to just work so out. It just so happened to be Crimson and Cream as well. Because she does a beautiful thing. This is pink. Ah, but she, <laughs> this is pink, you sure? We're okay. back, y'all. We're back, okay, y'all. Michael. Michael and Joy in the morning. MichaelandJoy.com. Today's show is being brought to you by Valerie Randolph and the Randolph Agency, multi-line insurance agency owner. As a matter of fact, she owns that Allstate right there at 1995 Windy Hill Road Woo-hoo! in Smyrna, yes! Georgia. 770-435-7667 is the number. You can hit her out or you can visit the website, therandolphagency.com. Hanging out oh, with proper. Shay today. Middle class matchmaker is Shay on Instagram, which is this. Why do you put your paper down, Joy? I'm, I'm in, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready for you. <laughs> Come hey, on. Shay. Hey, I'm going to say, I mean, you act like we ain't been Shay, doing this for two years. You got an event coming up. I do. Speed event, aren't yes, you? we have a speed dating event on Saturday. Okay. And the cool thing is, Warner Brothers is actually promoting their show Game Night. Oh, at yeah. Night. Yeah. So yes, that's come through. Fun. Yeah, so it's going to be an opportunity to date 20 different people in one night. Oh, Lord. Right. Mm. You might meet the one. You might find Ooh. your Valentine. I was going to say, day. too <laughs> bad I'm booked that night. What's the <laughs> most important? <laughs> what is right the most most important Valentine, element in a relationship, you think? I think communication. Mm-hmm. And the reason I say communication is because I find that things break down if you don't have communication. And so when you don't have communication, now I'm starting to mistrust you because we're not talking. Now let's elaborate mistrust. a little bit, a little bit a good more good communication because you say communication is so broad. It like is broad. It, it, It's broad. Can you just break it down just a little bit? Yeah. So when I say communication, am, am I just spilling the beans on my whole entire life? No, no that's too it's much. It's making sure that we relate, that we understand each other, that we're on the same page. I know where you are, you know where I am. Now when we have that, everything else is okay because mm-hmm. we're communicating, we're in sync with each other. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and dating, that first date is like a job interview. Yeah. Everybody mm-hmm. says they're representative and you're lying and you have Ooh, no. answers that you have pre-planned yeah, yeah. in your head yeah. that Michael you're going to say, right? Michael been on a in how many years? 25 he over here talking years, about, maybe? He talking about his story, girl. Yeah. Yeah. So he, hey, and they all like, lying. Hey, Shotty, what's your sign? <laughs> <laughs> but, but it's true. It's true. People do send their representatives. Mm-hmm. So you have to be able to ask beyond surface questions. What's mm-hmm. your favorite? color what's your name you gotta no people do it you gotta be able to ask questions like how do you resolve conflict you Mm -hmm. gotta know when we get upset are you gonna go off on me on the first date Uh, well i mean you need not on the first date okay these are the kind of fact finding the first date but these are fact finding things you need to know you need to know yeah like um you know anger issues that come up in your last relationship how did it end like those are good questions that will help you gauge how about this what's the number to your pharmacist <laughs> so you uh, find out what kind of medicine uh, he or just she open take. the medicine cabinet and google the stuff yourself <laughs> Valerie right. Randolph is in the building with see what it. that is <laughs> see what that why do you take Prozac what is going on here hey Valerie Randolph is hanging out with us. and people do you the same way at the Randolph agency they send that representative to you to try to see how can you get, get insurance but you got to dig a little deeper as well, don't you? Oh, yeah. You mm-hmm. have the, 
to ask the questions to get the appropriate answer, not ask the question to get the answer that you want to hear. Right, exactly. You better not. <laughs> no, no, I need to see the medical records before I sign you up for this $1.7 million policy, well, right? Clearly. Yes. I need yes. to see what's pre existing. Are you married and does she live with you? <laughs> right, 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 right. Hey, well, unfortunately, uh, TJ Miller, uh, he's an actor from Silicon Valley. He also voiced the brand mascot for Mucinex. Mr. Mucinex, he's been doing that since 2014. You know the little creepy little yeah. Mucinex character that you see mm -hmm. on the commercial? Oh, well, the other day, uh, he was relieved of his duties mm. because his ex uh, said that he, she, he sexually assaulted her. Um, and, you know, the whole Me Too movement, they got the Mucinex guy. I'm about to say, so him. it was his ex that came out and yep. said so. and they pulled the plug on him. I was going to say, Mama tell you, um, we got to stop being bitter, y'all. Yeah, we, hey. Bitter, so, it will take you to the death, y'all. That man is out of a job. It's some voice like, over opportunity. We couldn't says, see him anyway. Yeah. Well, like, I know, right? Matters. Right, why right, about I'm about to say, look, I mean, <laughs> Nobody look, let me tell you, once I get a good voiceover job, you ain't even got to say who it is. Like, keep me quiet. Like, well, just send the check. The thing with T.J. Miller, though, is he was just so, you know, he walked around with the Mucinex chain on. Yeah, with see, the, I wouldn't do he had, that. He had to let everybody know it was him. I was going to say, I'm just yeah. joking. That's what football players do. <laughs> I don't know. You know, some people do crazy. I'm about to say, but that's what a football player <laughs> do. Michael and Joy, the morning. Long. We'll be right back. Michael and Joy, that guy. Like out. Football players, so you, so you used to have it that helmet on you don't know what they look like so once they finally take it off they be like doing the most that was Roddy White when he played he yeah. had his 88 chain like boy, everybody know you Roddy White on the White. front and the back he had a chain on the back too and yeah, I still want to know who that was I don't want to be walking around like this right. Right. thank y'all for coming thank y'all for chiming in whoop whoop too funny. Good morning, MST5463. What up, Corey? He's back. Hey, Simply Passionate. How are she you? She owns an insurance company. That's what do you, uh -huh. you have. She has insurance. Real life, yeah, real life, like Laura the first lady of a church. So I <laughs> oh, oh, it's because oh. you dress so nice. I was going to say, and hey, you were sitting over there doing yeah, like, your you hands doing are like, what it is. Your hands like, are oh. class like. Your hand, so she needs to come to the speed dating list so y'all can Val see the other side of that. Valerie, Valerie got a Because hit. she is not a first lady of a church. She owns an insurance company. Yes. Smart. All state. Yeah, all state insurance. Yes. 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 The Valerie Randolph. I think I could get used to that. Though. Right? Being a first lady. See, so you might, your husband might be a pastor. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the Valerie <laughs> Randolph <laughs> dot, what? Michael, what's the website? The Valerie Randolph Agency. The Randolph The, Ra the Randolph Agency. Oh, see. He says she looks very classy and regal. She does. Look she does. Today. Are you a pastor? <laughs> <laughs> she wants to know if you're a pastor because, you know, since you're speaking that into existence, maybe she's supposed to be the first lady. Hmm. Oh, look her. He got Down syndrome. He's such a cute little boy, ain't he? Yeah. Is he black? Why does that matter? I was just. He's the first baby with Down syndrome. Oh, he, oh yeah, I've seen. No, there was another one on the Gap commercial. There was another um, Down syndrome baby who was uh, the Gap baby. Mm -hmm. They have they have a Down syndrome uh, baby too. That's so. <clears throat> I just don't want them to be doing it like exploitation type. Right. Yeah. That was the first just as long as your heart's in the right place, then I'm all for it. But just don't be doing it like making. Well, you know my point. So it is your birthday. What up? Happy birthday, yeah, MST five four six three. Cause it's his birthday. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? You get to have all these dates with all these sexy things, and you know. All right, just for a brief second, cause you know how Michael is about radio okay i'ma sing happy birthday to you and you got to go oh okay all right well happy birthday right, to so you happy birthday to Remember you instrumentals here, yeah, instrumentals here. <laughs> going to work you know how on social media you can invite people yeah. to be in your feed you invited them well he asked to be invited so i was like yeah let's try it what's up billy they all want to be i know good morning, good morning. a bunch of folks Michael and Joy in the morning, michaelandjoy.com. Valerie Randolph whoop, whoop. is hanging out with us today. Valerie, how did the event go over the weekend? Yes, the whole weekend. Shut it down. Shut it down. I mean, from 285 to 75, 
it was shut down. Congratulations. Yeah, it was Friday very, day. very shout busy over you. there. Shout out to the AKAs yeah. doing their thing over the weekend. What's next yeah. for you? you I, I was just, t I told the audience earlier that we're doing the um, the event with you again this year, right. All State. Uh, Cinco de Mayo, mm -hmm. uh, May 5th, we're going to hang out with you and do, do our domestic violence Oh, deal. yes. We'll be serving the Fayette, Coeta, Noonan County area in regards to domestic violence. We're going to do a segment on human trafficking. Um, so we're going to have a great time that day putting the information out in the community. That was mm -hmm. a nice little ride down to that library down there. It was. Uh, I, can okay. I get an Uber this year? I'm like, about to say, Michael, can we, we ride together? Whatever you want. My, so my, make sure you enjoy it there. That Michael and Joy stock has risen. <laughs> I'm saying it's going to take a little bit more than some lemon <laughs> pepper wings. <laughs> And they did have them Subway sandwiches on fleet though, oh, but we still say, fleet? did I miss the Subway? No, we told, we left that, we left that word. Yeah. Oh, we can't do, we can't do fleet no more? No, we left that word in 2015. Oh, that was a 2016 word? Yeah. Versus yeah. back here, one of our millennials, she right, keeps right, us right. up to date on what's going on in Looking the Looking like storm. World. Right. <laughs> Love that great piece. <laughs> Valerie Randolph. <laughs> Valerie, we're talking life insurance like we always do. Mm -hmm. um, and we're talking dating. Dating mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff. Is there, is there a people point to your policy? Right. Is there a point to where you have to start having that conversation with your significant other? I think financial planning of any type is a, a conversation you want to have mm -hmm. before you uh, seal the deal. Yeah, right, right, exactly. Right, right. You want to know at what point. You don't want to assume that a person has good credit. You don't want to assume that a person is insurable. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't even want to assume. <laughs> insurable. Yeah, insurable. Yeah, right. Because a yeah. lot of people are not insurable. Mm -hmm. And and you don't want to assume that a person even puts financial uh, education in their whole scheme of planning. Mm -hmm. You know? So yeah. all of those things you want to talk about. And that's something that we as a community kind of forget sometimes. Say we a little lacking. Yeah. We more worried about, you know, the exterior, maybe what's yeah. in your closet than, you know. What kind of car you drive, what you look like, and that person could be one a payment away from not having that car. And you're not Clearly. a closed-ended yeah. question answering person. No. You have to ask those open -ended. same in dating as well, you have to ask those open-ended questions yeah. to get your yeah. clients to open up, don't you? Exactly. You have to ask open-ended, direct, all of the above. Okay, so if we're going to ask a couple of open-ended questions for you on this dating game. Mm -mm. <laughs> we got some speed dating. Looking like now a past Miss White. <laughs> Go ahead. Wait a minute now. I heard that. <laughs> so I was going to say, like, talk about putting out your representative. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm about to say, put her, put her away, Valerie. Put her away, Valerie. <laughs> When I'll I put Sally away. Right, right, right. Because right. when I see uh, Valerie walking the dog on Saturday mornings, boy. Hey, what's what it look like? Right, right, right. Is that right. Valerie? Hey. Oh, that's Valerie. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> Dating for hey, you, Hey, Miss Parker. Yes. Dating for you. I mean, you're you're a very successful uh, entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. um, you've been doing you, you've been doing this what thirty years 30 now. Years. Thirty years. Thirty years in, in uh, wow. September. I'm Congratulations. sure men. Thank you. Wow. Men Thank are you. super intimidated by you. That's the sad part. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's very, very difficult for a woman, a woman in business, to date. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's all the misnomers. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing. That's right. a problem, right, Shay? Because we talk about being attractive and we talk about being super successful. Because people have this thing like, I, I can never get Valerie, or I can never get Michael. <laughs> You I'm like about I to say, ain't nobody <laughs> gonna get you, boy. But isn't that true, though? It is very true. It can't. It can be. It can definitely be a barrier, but what I find is women think men are intimidated by them, mm. and so they approach <laughs> men like, well, I have all this going on, I live in this big house, I drive this nice car, I have all this money, you're intimidated by me, but what I tell women is don't lead with your resume mm -hmm. or your bank account or your accomplishments. Just be a woman. Mm -hmm. Just be a woman on a date, and every man can approach every woman. Don't mm -hmm. drive that beautiful Mercedes on that first date. Just catch an <laughs> Just Uber, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You're laughing, but I had a client who did People that. She guessing. had two Mercedes, but she would drive her Honda to dates, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. she lived in a big, beautiful house, but she would take them to her apartment. And, and and it's just so that they would they would lower they didn't even understand they didn't even know how much she had but they would get to know her mm -hmm. and like her and then once she found out they liked her then she she was say, like you hit the jackpot well, yeah <laughs> when I met my wife almost twenty five years ago I could have swore she drove like a, a convertible BMW or something like that I just knew she would fly man she pulled on on Bunker Hill with that little two door Honda Accord <laughs> five speed I was like man I you got right on the 
up with that. I sure did. did. <laughs> I sure did. Come on, baby. Jackpot. Like, hey, <laughs> and speaking of jackpot, shout out to my man Maurice because he won six point one million dollars in the jackpot last year in September. Well, a day after he won the jackpot, he moved out of his home that he shared with his girlfriend, Denise Robertson. Now, the couples were together for about two years, but Maurice claims that the relationship was already over. Well, right. Robertson is sued. Uh, he, she, she is suing him for the other half of that lottery jackpot because she claimed that the couple had an agreement to split any winnings from the big win. Right now, the lottery firm has only paid Maurice half of the money pending the decision of the court. I'm about to say, man, he done spent his half. <laughs> he done spent his half already <laughs> gone, say, boy. He, he banking on that other three million dollars, but man, he said we was already broke up. That was funny. He was Slightly like, yeah, we was already broke right. up. Sure. <laughs> and you just got some the night before. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, no, that was out. we was breaking up. <laughs> <laughs> that was the relationship was ended for that. <laughs> that was that last but time. Hey, good morning, cool kids. Oh, Happy belated bel birthday, Dolores. I know they are on some coffee. I don't know what they own, but they are hyped and crunk up right in the morning. <laughs> You're going home and going, going right back to sleep. Right, right back to sleep. Everyone. Trust and know. Why would not they not even everyone. entertain that? What, it's we're it's splitting it? We're splitting the ticket? Yeah, if they, like they, they one, were in, they in the state. Of, I know, you didn't have to be married. If, well, well, no, 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 no. Why would they entertain that if they was breaking up? Because they won't really break it up. He lying. <laughs> he lying just like all men do. <laughs> he a liar just like the rest of y'all. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. Uh, uh, first, can you hand me that? So that was a good point. That red so, mark um, over there. One of the things we already mm -hmm. talked about is um, My that we don't is evaluate Joy finances Ramis. before we date. Joy, not we don't, Joe. We don't evaluate Joe um, financial uh, status. I know, I'm just messing with you. Or do they have life insurance? Yeah, and, yeah it don't matter. Um, Thank you, baby. And, and I think those are great points. But I don't want you to eliminate somebody because they don't have a significant investment or they don't have good credit. What's this one say? Um, those things can How be changed. So even though I agree with her that we don't if we don't take those things into consideration, I don't think you should people? date you should not date somebody because he doesn't have a life insurance policy or not I'm not dating you. I'm not dating you. Of his credit score. Listen, I'm not going to eliminate you. your pool. It's okay. It's going to be reduced even further. It's but okay. You know, you know, but, and that's something is. to learn together. It's, it's understanding. You don't yeah. want to assume right. all of this. Exactly. Right. That's my point. Is that if you know ahead of time, yes, then you don't come into the relationship for three conceived notions that this person yeah, yeah, understands the I'm gonna throw this right. away, Sean. Exactly. So if you if you allow me to make choices, yes, based upon you know the information, then I can deal with Absolutely. it. Absolutely. But if the you information is yeah, yeah. not no, I agree. It, yeah. I agree. I'm yeah, just saying, don't use that as a tool to eliminate. Yeah, because see, in our culture. We uh, date to eliminate. You know, I always we say, we're always girl. looking for some mm -hmm. reason to let somebody go. Oh, let him, him go the list. because X he don't have a life insurance list. policy. That's crazy. Don't, 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 don't break up with somebody because of that. That's what I'm trying to say. That's something you can build together. That's something. You somebody can said, I don't have a Valentine. I'm getting my ticket today, Shay. Yeah, get your ticket. Come on. Valentine.eventbrite.com. And that's you, the letter you. Will you be my Valentine.eventbrite.com? Yes. But I just wanted to share that. Um, Financial status can change. Credit stuff can change. Um, Up and down. Financial right? if you're willing. stuff. If you're willing. If yeah, you're open. Yeah, yeah. That stuff can change. Don't I'm just joking. You can be broke. <laughs> I, look, all you, all I need is a dream. I can make you rich, baby. All right. That's all, that's that's all, the all the I right, need. The right, the right partner can that's all actually I, make you all rich. I need. The look. right partner can change your life. All I you need is I the sure right partner. Can. That's all I need. I don't need all that other stuff. I Everybody upgrades when they cool. give you the right one. But that's what you're supposed <laughs> that to do. That is what you're supposed mm -hmm. to do. But and see, we're looking, we looking for the finished product. <laughs> but you're supposed to build together. You don't uh, look for somebody to have it all when you need them. Build mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. And everybody can build. Everybody mm -hmm. can build. No matter where you if are. You, if, you, like if, you, can build. if you willing to, to build. If exactly. it's, it's some people that ain't willing. can build. I mean, it doesn't matter where you are. You can go up. Everybody can go up. But some people but you gotta just be, don't wanna, like, you gotta don't be wanna willing to want to go up. Right. Yeah. You know, some yeah. people get real comfortable, yeah. and they don't exactly. believe that they have the ability within out. themselves. They don't do believe that. in themselves enough to they think that, that they can aspire for greater. I ain't got time to and be. Some people don't want 
yeah. yeah. They yeah. want to get real comfortable. Yeah. yeah. And some people are already like, comfortable, depending but on the age matter. we're here. Okay, so let's say you with somebody. Mm -hmm. This is a this All right, now the only difference on the Okay, going to shut all that down because we're going to go back and hold that real quick. I'm about to say, I shutting it down. Sorry. You thought you was on your own. He's serious about his craft. He's serious about his craft. He's serious about the papers. What up, what up, what up? Michael and Joy whoop, whoop. in the morning. Michaelandjoy.com is the yes, website. Sir. Today's show is being brought to you by Valerie Randolph and the Randolph Agency. She owns that all state right there, 1995 Windy Hill Road, Smyrna, Georgia, 770. 435-7667 is the number. You can call her 24-7. Well, better yet, just visit the website 24-7. Yes, sir. TheRandolphAgency.com because if you try to call her 24-7, she might, she might think it's She might be dude. on a date. She might invite you over. No, nah, I'm just joking. She I'm ain't going to do all that. She does I mean, you know, people call me 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm right. Like, <laughs> right. I'm about right. to say it's a fire. My water right. heater. My water heater. <laughs> my house is nope. flooded. <laughs> Uh, I'm like, call the one ahead of that. Hey, check her out. 1995 Windy Hill Road, I 75 North, Windy Hill. Bust that left. Go down about 1.762 miles. She's right down the right hand side. You can see the Allstate sign. If you go to that golf course, you went too far. Bust that U turn and come Bust back. She's right there. Hanging out also with Shay, middle class matchmaker. Whoop, whoop. You can check her out. We're going to tell you about the event that she has coming up. But today is the 8th of February, 2018. Fly Eagles on this day in 1936, the first National Football League draft was held. Jay Berwanger was the first to be selected, nice. and he went to Definitely. the Philadelphia Eagles. And since we're talking about football, the uh, driver suspected of hitting and killing NFL linebacker Edwin Jackson and his rideshare driver on Sunday had a prior conviction for DUI mm. and had been deported twice, according to U.S. Immigration. Mm. Now, y'all know 45 had a whole bunch to say about that yesterday via his Twitter feed, but the owner of the Indianapolis Colts, the team that Edwin played for, said that he will pay for all of the funeral expenses for Jackson and Monroe, the other guy that was uh, in the car with him also, he's going to be paying for those. And for those that don't know, mm. Edwin is a, a hometown kid. Uh, he went to Westlake High School before going to college and then walked on. Uh, I'm sorry, he walked on in college and then became an unrestricted free agent and mm. became an Indianapolis coach. Say, um, a lot of kids that knew him, a lot of people knew him, knew that that was the kind of guy that he was. He was. I, I, I think the story was like the, the driver had a flat, the the. A uh, ride share driver had a flat tire, mm -hmm. and uh, as he was changing the tire, Edwin got out to help him fix the tire. Mm -hmm. Now, most people probably just would have sat in the would car it? and was like, or called another driver to say, Come pick me up. But nah, Edwin was the kind of kid that he wanted to help, yeah, yeah, and yeah. he did that, you know. And unfortunately, he lost his life. But uh, uh, you know, prayers to his family, yes. and shout out to uh, uh, the owner of the coach for Jim, stepping up for stepping and, up and, and doing helping out. Yeah, that's very, out. very Valerie Randolph was in the building since we're talking about insurance. Uh, we talk about that. We always talk. We talk about it all the time when it comes to these funeral expenses. Mm. Man, those things can get very, very expensive. Very. I'm, I'm putting. You know, we are. We always I'm say it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. it, it is going to happen, and we have to be prepared for that. I'm thinking I'm about to spend about nineteen hundred dollars on a funeral. That's yeah. for the. the what that's you plan? That's just right. Best life. Right. Exactly. <laughs> that's mm. it. But you got to be prepared. Is that right? Right. And we have to be prepared beyond the funeral. Mm -hmm. You know, and and just think about the word life insurance. It's for the people that you leave behind. Mm -hmm. If you have children, just think about all the goals and objectives that you have for your children in life while you were living don't you want those things to continue do you want their dreams that or the aspirations you had for them to die with you mm -hmm. no you want their mother to be able to say you know what your daddy prepared for us you know mm -hmm. we don't have to worry about we yep. can grieve and we can continue to, to the next day mm -hmm. don't worry about it you are set Beyond that's a family. beautiful thing yeah. and to leave a legacy mm -hmm. you know don't have your children maybe if you, you had it hard starting up and it was difficult for you to get uh, scholarships or get grant money or whatever isn't it a beautiful things that your kids don't even have to worry about that mm -hmm. that's the quickest way for you to get back to them 
I, I, know that's I, I love the track. You talk about Beyond the Funeral. And I think about my dad and how awesome of a grandfather he is to mm-hmm. all of our kids, all mm-hmm. 97 of them. Tarama's got 90 of the 97. No, we don't. Way. Stop um, lying on But just to, just to think the legacy that Pops could leave behind for mm-hmm. the grandkids, that would yeah. be amazing. So, Pops, mm-hmm. please do you know. You too, Michael. That expensive, you got some grand, I was going to say, you got some grandkids That expensive too, casket Pops be talking about, he going to get buried in? Nah, Pops, he ain't going to know. We're going to put him in a box and put the little thing over the top. We're I'm about to say, um, unless it's in his um, will and, uh, and somebody. Nobody checking for that. <laughs> Valerie say, Randolph. Right. <laughs> the Randolph Agency. What's that number? It is 770-435-7667. Hey, when we come back, we're going to play some this or that. Guess who's on the clock? You, Shay. It's Michael and Joy. Michael and Joy. That goes. That goes. Yeah. Beyond the funeral, I like that. That's not sure. Yeah. Just go ahead and cremate me. <laughs> we already got a mausoleum and everything. Oh, Just put all five of us in there. My question was before we the break is, if if you were with a person and he did not want to um, have life insurance policy or whatever, but you do, Sean, you got this and that does it even up. matter? Yeah. You coming back to yeah, the song? Right. How do you yeah. want to do it? If you are over a certain age, back, she said you cannot just talk place life insurance on that. someone right, so without their consent. Song, they're going to hit the post. It has to be if, if he doesn't this or want that. it. If he doesn't want it, and y'all are going to get married, you, what, what's you this? But why does it matter? That's him. But that says a lot about how he truly fears, feels about me. If he doesn't want to leave me in the position that we are currently, mm. I would have an issue with that. But you have the you have yeah. But my policy you is for yourself. To, you're good. You were you're good before y'all met. You're right where you are right now. Mm-hmm. You already have your money I and think your that that and that's a lot about his, his, th- his so thinking. So him saying I don't want to do that. That's uh, that's his decision. Yeah. But think so about what we were saying about relationships. When you go into a relationship, you are to enhance each other. Yes, I'm good with me now, but I may feel better with him together. And so why don't you continually want to make me better mm-hmm. in life and in after death? And the other caveat is what if they end up having a family mm-hmm. and now, yeah, I'm good. No, 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 my no. child is taken no. care of or whatever, you know, from my point of view. But if this is this is this your is child, ours. too, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. So this is our child together. So I think it says a lot about uh, his so his yeah. thinking after the me. current moment. I hear you, but I just wouldn't I wouldn't dismiss a person because that's his uh, if I'm making sure I'm good. Good. And my kids are good. You're right. I'm not gonna dismiss Yeah, them but you're that. but it's your kids together. He should I, I think my opinion is you should be thinking about your child as well, not just me thinking about our child. I think that that says a lot. If at the end of the day we have a child together, we get married together, and all you thinking about is yourself, then that says a lot to me and about then, you. And then too, I would like to be able to tell my children this is your father Sorry. and my plan. We're going to do you. a hit the plan. Not just my plan. Mm-hmm. Daddy made sure that these things were handled and that I could actually show them at some point what he did for both of us. Mm-hmm. It's too many men out here to be um, playing around with the one that don't want it. I'm like, <laughs> next. Michael and Joy in the morning. Woo-hoo. MichaelandJoy.com. When we come back, we're going to get to know Shay a little bit better. How about that? It's about Michael and Joy in the morning. Your man got a lot of Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, you know, and again, that goes back to that communication mm-hmm. thing. Mm-hmm. That you and just what you feel we right. feel together. Well, I don't, yeah. so I don't personally, so we disagree mm-hmm. on that. So mm-hmm. I personally... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, was mm-hmm. I mean I was a single mom before mm-hmm. and keep, before place, I got in my relationship and I made sure that mm-hmm. I had everything yeah. taken care of for me and my son. Uh-huh. So I don't even you know if he doesn't want to do that, I saw him. I don't feel like it's um like I tell him you're gonna get cremated. I'm gonna spend three hundred dollars <laughs> and cremate you and we gonna call it a day. If that's I mean, all you got, and me. my partner's gonna <laughs> smoke yeah. me and, and it ain't that a shot. You had your son prior yeah. to the yeah. relationship, and a lot of yeah. people are in yeah. that situation. So. so but I mean, I think that if we were to have a child together, together. Mm-hmm. and you decide that, you know, I think it is selfish. If you de- if we have a child together and you decide that you are just anti-life insurance mm-hmm. policy, I think that that says a lot about then, your thoughts of me death. as Michael your wife file. and your thoughts of our child. Because Michael just because I have a policy or whatever and, and I add, add our child doesn't mean anything. Because essentially we're supposed to be going 
together as we, we go back, back. We as we, we yes, and, 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 and legacy planning mm-hmm. and dating. We're going to talk about sure. this because I have huh? very different yeah. thoughts. So we're going to yeah. legacy so for me is yeah. so, 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 so important. That That's why mainstream America yeah, is so much further ahead of us because they're living the great granddad. Yeah, you know, and we're just first general. I'm the If 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 that right right right. We back. check the I got check yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look, I was like, married. look, Brenton will be a trust fund. <laughs> yeah, he married, trust but, and know that. And but I, I got don't the blood, mind. Though. I don't yeah. mind. Lady trust fund, F- baby. I sure am. Yeah. Where your trust at? Right. Exactly. No, no, no. I'm I mean, we have to start somewhere. No, we have to start somewhere and build a legacy so that our children don't didn't didn't have to go through some of the things that we went through. What's wrong with them not having to have to come up with a down payment for their house? What's, What's wrong, wrong with them school being paid for? Have them no right. They're no, forced that's, that's the first house. And it's really just about it is really just about the options of being able to to choose after I'm gone. Yeah. After I'm not here, after his dad is in here, he can choose whether or not he wants to do X, Y, and Z, and not be forced to have to make a choice that he might not want to make. They don't have. Yeah. All right. We're coming back in thirty. Yeah. Okay, versus we hear you, girl. We back in 30, girl. We back in 30. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so I have a problem with, um, so it's like, oh, you don't want to, what about me when you die? That kind of sounds selfish, too. So it's like, so you don't want to leave more money for me after you die? That's how I, don't I feel. And I, I know every, nobody else well, feels that way, but that's how I feel. It sounds like, um, well, I'm going to just marry somebody else to take care of your kids then. Yeah. And that happens. I, no, I know. I know. Michael and Joy in the morning. Michael and Joy.com. Speed dating event is coming up Saturday, February 10th. You can meet Shay along with a bunch of other singles out there getting they single on. We'll tell you how to get tickets. You know what? Uh, cigarette smoking. Mm-hmm. The first drag of a cigarette not only starts you down the road to full chronic disease risk, but it can also <laughs> result in immediate symptoms smokers may not realize that come from lighting a cigarette up. Now, just one cigarette can instantly stuff up your sinuses and sting your stomach, and it spikes your heart rate and blood pressure. Now, even your brain gets an instant uh, addiction when you smoke a cigarette, and you go into withdrawals in seconds. Now, mm. one of the symptoms is you fur- the first puff of smoke changes your next breath mm. immediately. Smoking also makes your heart rate, uh, your heart rate your heart work harder mm-hmm. instantly as mm-hmm. soon as you take that first puff. Also, lighting up will stuff up your nose and builds ear pressure. And finally, your withdrawal symptoms start before you even finish your cigarette. Mm. Now, I will admit that I smoked cigarettes for about Nasty. 17 years. I started smoking cigarettes when I was about 14 years old. Mm. I was on them Newports. Mm. Well, my mama used to smoke them Salem's, boy. Them Salem's taste like Salem's trees, strong. boy. Them <laughs> some menthols, boy. Mm. But I smoked until I was about 30 years old, and I finally gave it up. Uh, cold turkey, that thing. Didn't realize how addictive or addictive mm-hmm. cigarettes were. Mm-hmm. When I used to work in the hotel business, people would be like, I want a non-smoking room. I'm like, man, they clean the rooms out. You yeah, don't even know. They'd be like, nah, but once you stop smoking cigarettes for a period of time, you start to, you start you to smell, smell life different. a lot differently. So smell people, life. <laughs> you so used to your top lip smelling like cigarettes, you don't know. You don't even know, know right? Like, you you stink. No, I don't. People that people that smoke cigarettes swear they don't smell like smoke. Uh, yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yeah, Everywhere you, do. you go. So that is uh, since we're talking about dating, that could be a kicker also. And by the way, just because Brenton is a Boy Scout on this day, February eighth, it is. National Boy Scouts Day. Since 1910, boys across America have been doing good deeds, learning survival skills, and developing moral foundations through the Boy Scouts of America. February 8th annually recognizes that day. Shout out to you, Lil B. Will you be my Valentine? That is the question that we're asking February 10th, Saturday. Shay, you are setting up a bunch of singles this Saturday. Tell us about a speed dating event. What, What does this entail? Well, speed dating is a great opportunity to practice dating for people who are just coming out of a divorce, you've been married a long time and you need more practice. What it does is you have five minutes of a conversation with a person. 
and then I, I bring the buzzer in and you move to the next person. Okay. And so you're basically having several little mini dates, like 20 mini dates in one night. Mm. And you get to assess Cute. like, yeah, do, did I have instant chemistry? What was it about that person? I keep thinking about that person. Or you know what? I like this. He said it was really funny. Or she really got my attention when she did this. It's little things like that that get your attention and you can make a decision of, you know what? I wonder if I can build with that person. Can you go back to somebody? Yes, you can. You can stay, so you can stay at the host. No, no, no. But you oh, want to okay. keep going. But at the end, we'll calculate, is there somebody that you saw that you okay. really want to talk Everybody to? Everybody going to like the same person. I'm just that trying. happens. Just, yeah, no, yeah, that yeah. honestly happens. Yeah. Everybody wants. But it's about, does that person want you? And that's what we get. <laughs> yeah, like that. Shay, let me ask you this. We know that because of social media and the media, in the past 20 years, dating has changed with those two being some of the biggest factors. But besides that, has dating really changed? Dating has really changed. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if you have been, you've been married 25 years, mm -hmm. if you got out here now, you wouldn't even recognize it. <laughs> okay, so not nobody want to know your sign. No, Michael. it's very um, techie. People text, people on social media, people meet online. It has changed. People even, men expect women sometimes to go Dutch. That's probably different from when you dated. Um, women, you know, the complaints, everything is totally different. I wrote a book about it, by the way, because mm -hmm. it is so very different today than it was a long time ago. I wrote about. a book about it. Want to want to get it? Go to Matchmaker, <laughs> <laughs> middle, Shout middle class Shay, matchmaker, middle class matchmaker, matchmaker yeah. on Instagram. Valerie Randolph is hanging out with us too, and we're talking about this whole dating thing and your life insurance and your insurance, mm -hmm. multi-line insurance agency. Let's talk about that real quick because mm -hmm. you do it all. Yes. All lines of insurance, everything from automobile insurance to uh, financial planning, life insurance, commercial insurance, all of the above. But, because when we talk about the dating scene and probing and asking all of those open-ended questions, mm -hmm. You do the same thing as well to make sure that your clients are covered on all aspects, correct? Oh, definitely. Um, I, I ask questions sometimes people don't want me to ask mm -hmm. them, but I have to in order to do a very good job for them. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. And you about. get a discount if you get more than one thing through the same person. Yeah, and I, you know, I tell people all the time, the more questions I ask, the more discounts you get. Bundle yeah. that thing, shout it. Valerie Randolph, Woo 1995, Bundle. Wendy Hill Road, right here in Smyrna, Georgia. Yes. You can check her out. You can give her a call or visit the website, the Randolph Agency. Dot com. Shay, guess what, girl? You are on the hot seat. Woo, we going to get to know you a little better because this is it. the game that we play called This or That. All right, let's do it. Is it the Valerie Randolph? The Randolph Agency. Oh, okay. I'm, thank you. Hey, Michael and Joy in the morning. MichaelandJoy.com. Shay, shout out to you, Shay, middle class matchmaker. You can check her out Saturday, February 10th. Will you be my Valentine? We're going to be doing some speed dating in that thing. Where are you going to be doing the event at? At the Dawn Event Center. There you go, the Dawn Event Center. You got a show tonight, right? I have a show Tell tonight. us about your show. Woo, woo. If yeah, you say show. the name of your station, we will escort you up out I of here. I won't say the name oh, of your station. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> my show is Conversations with Cupid. It yeah. airs every Thursday from 6 to 8 p.m. And how can we check that out? You can go. See, I gotta say the name. Oh yeah, never mind. You can go to my, my YouTube. There you go. Yeah. You can go to my YouTube at um, Middle Class Matchmaker. You can see previous shows, and you can, if you're my Facebook friend, you already know you can follow it live on my show. Now you grew up in Macon, right? I did. You grew up in Macon. So did you guys growing up? Did y'all have the cereal on top of the refrigerator or mm. in a pantry? On top of the refrigerator. On top of the refrigerator. Yeah, they, they had no money. Oh, no, money. we did. I went to private school my whole life. Ah, she checked me real quick on that. That's <laughs> what I'm talking like, about. No, 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 slow you down. Have, you have siblings? I do have a sister. She's a pediatrician. Oh, nice, oh. nice. She's she going to be at the speed date in John John? She needs to be. Uh-huh, ah! uh you heard that. Oh, so just call her out there. Here's some questions. So we put some questions together. We knew you were coming on the show since okay. Valentine's is right around the corner. Uh, it's not Valentine's? Valentine's. Valentine's. I'm going to say Valentine's. <laughs> My bad. So we put some questions <laughs> together. And what we did, join out, this is a contest between join out and see who knows you best. Oh, you know what I'm whoa. saying? So what we did was we answered the questions based off of how we think you would answer it. Okay. All right? And it's a contest. And as of today, February 8th, Joy is in the lead 8 4. Yes, ma'am. Thank so you very happy. much. So I need you to help me out today, oh. okay? No, 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 no. Estrogen over testosterone. All right, so yeah. here's the deal. <laughs> Oh, I, I got the plug too, so oh, uh, yeah. I'm so Come on now. I'm gonna ask a whole yeah. box of them in the other room. Can't don't tell nobody your secret. I was gonna say don't, don't, don't fall for that. So you wake up in the morning, sis. You got two boxes of cereal on the table. One is Frosted Flakes. The other is Captain Crunch. Which one are you choosing? 
Frosted Flakes. Frosted Flakes, okay, it's one Bam. one. Uh, Cheetos or cheese puffs? Cheese puffs. Cheese puffs. Damn, yeah, come through that. with two. Mexican or Italian? And we're talking food, not men. Italian. Italian, mm. okay, I got that one. Three to two. Lemon pepper wings or hot wings? I don't eat chicken. Ah, come on, pick one. Have, Just the flavor. I had two, mm, the lemon, flavor. Lemon pepper. Lemon pepper, all right, so three to three. McDonald fries or Chick fil A fries? Chick fil A. Chick fil A fry, mm, a little bougie. Private school. <laughs> yep, <laughs> private school. I just thought about that. Uh, cruise vacation or destination vacation? Destination. Destination, mm -hmm. okay. Five to four. Joy is in the lead. Okay, here go one. Vegas or Miami? Miami. Miami, okay. Oh, I had you down as a famous lady. All right, score is four to six right now. All right, here go a hood question. So I hope you understand this from Miss Private School <laughs> and Megan. It's, it's me. Yeah, I am kind of so. <laughs> Grape Kool-Aid or red Kool-Aid? Red Kool-Aid. Red Kool-Aid. Okay, we both got that. That was easy. That was I got some black Kool-Aid. Yeah, 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 yeah. thought she was going to try to throw us with the no. Kool-Aid, John, and be like, no, I like I that. I have a black card. I went to CAU. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Then, then, then there's that. Ram right. Ramen noodles. Uh, <laughs> Mac and cheese in a Kool-Aid. Part-time job. <laughs> Here's the bonus ah! question. Right now, the score is seven to five. Joy is in the lead, okay? Damn, but this damn, is the damn, bonus damn. question. And because we are celebrating the birth of one of the greatest actors of our generation, I have to say, Gary Coleman, the um, <laughs> bonus question will be worth 50 points. Ooh. Yes, sir. Mm. Greatest actor of our generation. Mm. Did not, none of y'all like that introduction mm -hmm. to Gary Coleman? Well, well, what gonna say you before I got there? What you talking about, Willis? Yeah. In case you didn't know. That's his show. <laughs> no. He played on different strokes. Oh, you she know was that? like, okay. I know, Michael. I so, to slow down. You got the event. The speed dating event is coming up Saturday, February 10th. Yes. Tickets are available still, right? Yes. How can they get tickets? Will you be my Valentine.eventbrite.com? Very woo simple. Woo. Now, after the event, though, you hooked up a bunch of single folks and they had an amazing time. But after the show, you didn't feel like driving home. So mm. we handed you the trap phone. The trap phone is here somewhere. Where that trap phone at, Sean Prime? Oh, we got you right yeah. here. We handed you the trap phone, Miss Shay. And there are only three numbers in the trap phone. So you can only call one of these people to come drive you home. All right? Okay. Who are you calling? Is it Shamar Moore, mm. Philip Michael Thomas mm. from Miami Vice? Yes, with the all white suits. Or Howard Hewitt? <laughs> Who are you calling to Shemar drive you Moore. home? Oh, uh, man. Wow. I Congratulations. won. Enjoy. I won. Yeah. See, I thought man, it wasn't about fun. looks. Man. It's not about looks. <laughs> I don't even know who the other people are. You <laughs> so, don't know. Phil and Michael Thomas. I'm going to hand me advice. Girl, if oh, you the know. old man with the no yes. socks and the curly hair. Yes. But he's old. So what? I'm not calling him. I'm calling Shamar. I was okay. gonna say, see, that says a lot about you, Shay. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Doing anything? I'm just gonna ride with you. Yeah. <laughs> well, congratulations to you, Shay. You I was amazing. You're doing a good job. One yes. more time, tell them how they can get tickets. They can get tickets at WillYouBeMyValentine.com. <coughs> I also want to tell you, I have 114 couples nice. and seven wow. marriages okay. and what? four engagements. So I'm very excited about yes. that. Yes, congratulations. So I feel like we're doing a lot in the community, bringing yes, black men. Come through, that. That's what I'm talking about. Right. And another person that's doing a lot for our community, Miss Valerie Randolph. You can check her out, therandolphagency.com. Best piece of advice that you can give our listeners today as it pertains to life insurance. Meet with a seasoned professional and make the plunge. Get some. Don't be without it. There are so many different products out here designed for a specific purpose, meet with them, do a needs analysis, and get that product today. Call her, Valerie Randolph. The telephone number is simple. It is 770-435-7667. The uh, shop will be open up in about five minutes. Mm -hmm. They opened up at nine last week when you were here because you said the wrong <laughs> I know. time. I know. What like, happened? Oh, wait a minute. We're going to go get some breakfast. <laughs> right, exactly. Shout out to Are you. Are we going to get something? Shout out to the first lady <laughs> of the church. <laughs> <That's> um, <laughs> Shout out lady. First lady. Hey, I got to tell you guys about my partner. His name is William. He's 57 years old. He is serving a life sentence mm. over in San Quentin prison for a 1990, I'm sorry, 1981 second degree murder and robbery that he participated in. Now, William sued Sylvia uh, Pilato, who is a vocational instructor at the prison, accusing her of coercing her into sex acts or him into sex acts in exchange for legal help. 
Well, guess what? My man William tried to break up with her, but he said she retaliated and caused him to end up in solitary confinement for nine months. Well, the lawsuit, he filed a lawsuit. The unusual civil rights case went to trial last month. After six days of testimony, an eight-person jury found Cordova the winner of the case, awarding him more than $15,000 in compensatory damages and $50,000 in punitive damages. So he walked away with $65,000 mm. that they said, we got to give it to you in commissary. We can't give you the money. <laughs> so we're just going to put this on your books. <laughs> you, you, book. on oh, you might die in there with all that money on your books. He is the honey bun king up in there, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> he got the real, real flip flop. And he got the uh, airheads on deck. So he about to flip that money in the commissary. Trust oh, me. <laughs> who you telling? Hey, tomorrow is Friday. Uh, thanks again, Shay. Shout out to you, Valerie Rant. Well, it's tomorrow Friday. Tomorrow is tomorrow Friday. Is brought to you by oh. Okay, I'm about to say. I'm about to say. Whoop, but whoop. shout out to y'all. If you miss any of today's show or want information from Valerie Randolph or Shay, go to MichaelandJoy.com. We'll see y'all tomorrow. It's Michael and Joy in the morning. Cessation Station Network. Good job, shout it. Whoop, whoop. Thank y'all for tuning Good in. Job, Good job, Arthur. Okay, whoop, so whoop. Whoop. First lady material. No, no, we'll get so, which one do you <laughs> So this guy commented, <laughs> and I just want <laughs> Valerie. <laughs> Valerie, this guy commented. He said, real men support any issue this woman has in her past. He is responsible for her prosperity in the future, and he is to set up a legacy for his family after his death. That was, thank you, Rocky. Just Thank you, Rocky. But you you know, that was just his his opinion. Thank you guys for tuning in. We are Michael and Joy. You guys have an amazing day. From the top of my head to the soles of my feet, I ask that God watch over you, keep you, protect you, expand your territory and your capacity. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Shout out to We Me for the shirt. Voila. I just want positive vibes. Bye, guys. But again, if he says, this or that, this time, he's prepared for that.